everybody, welcome to another creative video tutorial. Today we'll be working with Webflow. I'm going to show you how to add Lottie animations into their CMS and page builder. So our first step is to find a Lottie animation from Creati. We're going to search as a collection. And I'm going to use this animated interface illustrations and the good job design. Now that we're in the editor, I'm gonna show you some new cool features in Creati. We can customize skin tones. So let's change this right hand. Um, we can choose from the um, color spectrum or type in a RGB code. Um, now, Creative just added, uh, you can save recent colors. So you could like save your branding or your template colors for your website. And then um, we also have recent colors. So like these colors will show up. So I'm going to use my saved colors. And I'll change this one as well. This looks pretty good. So for the tutorial, we're going to need to download the JSON file. Make sure it's JSON is selected and grab the embedded code. And in the pop-up, you can change size, delay, speed, or the trigger, and you'll see the changes in the code. We're just going to leave it as is and click copy. Now we're good to go into Webflow. I'm going to show you the CMS first. All right, let's click CMS and we're going to change a blog post. Go into our body and I'm going to add the Lottie in this paragraph by clicking the add element and click this embedded code editor. Paste in the create code snippet. Save and close. Go to publish. Unfortunately, we can't see our changes unless we publish. You'll get you get this um, message instead of the animation. So we got to go in and check it out in the browser. Is our animation? It's working as expected with our color changes and running on a loop. Uh, so say we wanted to change the size, just go back in and change from 600 to 400, save and close, publish again, and refresh the page. And you can see our changes. Perfect. Let's go back into Webflow and I'll show you how to add Lottie in the page editor. Okay, we're going to use this form just as an example. So let's say we wanted to add a Lottie animation here. Well, use columns to contain the animation and we'll click the add element again, scroll down to media and you'll see Lottie animation, drag it in, and then click this button, replace Lottie sequence. And mine's already saved, but you can also upload. Click this button, you could upload it for my downloads. Mine's already saved. I'll just click on it and we can exit out of this. I mean, um, this editor is just like a small section of the settings. So we'll exit out and I'll show you the full editor. Um, so if you want to make changes, make sure you're clicked on the element and then go to the right hand toolbar. And so let's say we have all these different options. Um, let's say we want to change the size. Make sure you're in the style. Expand the size row and let's change the width. We can pick how we want to enter the value. We'll do pixels. 
and then 400, 400, okay. And we can see our changes in the editor. So let's go and see how it looks on a published page. Publish, and then check it out in the browser. There we go. Okay, scroll down, and there it is. Rendered as expected, uh, but it's not moving, and we definitely want our animation to move. So let's go back and make sure it's on a loop. So we'll go into element settings and click the loop radio button. Okay. Publish. Refresh. And the animation script should be running. Perfect. All right. Thanks for watching our Webflow tutorial. And stay tuned for more. Thanks. Bye.